Hi kids, this is Dr. Sunny for another Cooker Size class. This is the one that I'm most excited about and I really think you're all going to enjoy it as well. It's called Beat the Dough. We're going to help our mums and dads help with the pizza, the chapatis, whatever, and we're just going to help them knead that dough and we're going to start with the first warm. So first just a running sprint but with a little box as well. Now if you want to just kind of switch it up, we're going to turn directions don't worry about how you're boxing, but you just want to keep that back straight, right? And we're just going to warm up because mommy and daddy are coming soon with those doughs of balls and you're going to help beat them up. So get ready for the next one when we get that break. So remember this is 60 seconds and then 45 seconds break. And then afterwards we're going to show you some different boxing exercises to help that pizza base or that chapati dough seem really amazing when you're getting ready to eat it for dinner. So I hope you're warming up your feet, warming up your arms. Again, if you want to switch it up, a bit of uppercuts there, a bit of uppercuts, but you're there just warming the body because we've got a fight coming with that dough. We've got to show mommy and daddy what we mean. Okay, so we've got 45 seconds rest. Mommy and Daddy now, what you're going to do is you're going to split your dough and there's a dough recipe on the Dish Dash Deep website where you can find a basic dough recipe. You're going to split the dough into two balls and doughs. You're going to bring it up and kids, we're going to get ready to help knead that dough because when you knead that dough, it releases the gluten and it really helps to make that dough nice and soft when we're going to have that wonderful pizza at the end and when we let it rest for it to rise. You can see I'm still keeping warm. We've got that 60 seconds coming up and we're gonna do straight jabs, crossovers for 60 seconds before we switch it up afterwards. Are you ready? And we're beating that dough. That's it. Now, can you see I'm moving as well? So you don't wanna keep stationary. That's it. Now, mommy and daddy have to stay really strong as well. Keep that core strong, mom and dad, because us kids, we're hard, we're made of hard stuff. Right, beat that dough. And that should hopefully really be releasing the gluten. And mommy and daddy can probably feel that dough softening as well. Moms and dads, make sure that you're also squeezing that dough, keeping that nice and tight for the kids. Can you feel that? And now, if you're feeling really adventurous, you can sprint a little, and you're still doing just a straight jab. 60 seconds. 60 seconds, not long, but enough to get us worked up and ready for that pizza at the end. Hope you're having fun, kids. I am nearing the end of this one. Okay, right, we've got 45 seconds rest. What we're gonna do afterwards now, we're gonna do side jabs, alternate side jabs. So mom and dad, roll that dough back up into a, a circle. You should start noticing the dough softening as well. You're getting that gluten release. Kids, are you ready? We're gonna do side, side, okay? Side. Now for this one, just so you get your form real good. You don't wanna keep running on the spot as well. So, left foot front, okay? And we're gonna pivot, okay? And get a good twist, a good twist. So you're twisting from the hip, and you'll get a bit of hip workout. Ready? And side jab, side jab, side jab, side jab. Punching that dough, punching that dough. Mommy and daddy, keep those arms straight. They're getting a bit of a workout as well, I'm sure. Are you having fun, kids? I am. Get all that energy released, because guess what? That pizza's gonna be amazing at the end. Now, you can use whatever you want in terms of the base, mums and dads. Naan, naan pizzas are really good, so if you can get a naan um, recipe, chapati recipe, normal um, pizza dough recipe, or even bread is great. Just gets the kids involved. What I tend to do is I add some ground seed flour in there as well, some oats flour. Um, it really helps just, you know, for the gut health for kids as well. But kids, I hope you can see that that dough softening, we're nearing the end, okay. Right, moms and dads, roll that dough back up again. We're not finished yet, kids. What we're gonna do then is uppercut, uppercut. 
And can you see the uppercuts from the knees? So we're bending down a little. Now I don't want a full squat, right? But just enough to kind of warm up the legs because that last workout is going to take it out of us. So uppercut, uppercut. Again, back straight. You don't want to hurt your back. And this is just a nice, easy, fun exercise just to help mommy and daddy. And when you eat that pizza or that bread at the end, you're going to know that you made it really nice and soft. Okay, are we there? We're getting ready. And uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Do you see I'm bending down a little? You're keeping your legs solid. We don't want to move too much. This is more about upper arm workout. And breathe. You should be warming up those legs because guess what? In the last exercise, mommy or daddy is going to have to get involved. They're going to start getting involved in that boxing with us. But the amazing thing is that those going to be brilliant at the end of it. Are you feeling it, kids? Because I'm feeling it. Remember to breathe. Breathe. Right, good uppercut. Remember that here, the purpose isn't how strong you can punch. It's about just getting that full range of movement. And we're helping that dough. We're releasing that gluten. And we're also making it taste amazing at the end. Nearing the end. Phew. Okay, moms and dads, we need you on this one. What moms and dads are going to do now is they're going to jab forward with the dough. And us kids, we're going to make sure we don't get punched with that dough. So what we're going to do, arms up, and we're going to squat, and squat, and squat. Now, if you want to switch it up, you can do alternating knee squat, alternating knee and elbow squat. So moms and dads, we're out there for you. You can't get us. Are you ready, kids? Last workout. And then after that, moms and dads, you can let that toe rest. Or if you feel you've got a good base, you can roll it out and straight away. And down, and down, and down, and down. And remember kids, this isn't about speed. This is just about good form. Straight back. And down. Can you see? I'm touching my elbow with my knee. Oh. Mom or dad's not going to get us. We're better than them. Yes. Whew. Good workout, kids. You should be feeling it on the thighs now and the glutes because we're squatting down. We're too good for mommy and daddy. Oh. Now, if it's too much, don't worry about the alternating knee and elbow touch. Just upper and down. And down, and down, and down. That's it. And we're done. We beat the dough and beat mom and dad. So as I've said, moms and dads, then what you want to do is if you feel that that dough's nice and ready, roll it out. You can start putting it for the pizza dough. Roll it out, start putting it on the hob for your chapati. Or as I said, put it in a warm space for bread so it rises and then we're done kids it was amazing i hope you enjoyed cooker size see you later